All right, excuse the boot. I actually uh, broke my ankle at Road Atlanta, so I'm almost recovering from that, and I can't even drive my car, so thanks to Ivan for helping me move it around, get it on the lift, and pretty much help with all the work all around. But uh, it just came back from California. This is my 2016 MX-5 ND, and a lot of people are asking about the mods that we picked for it. So let's do a walk around and so we can tell you about each one. Um, as you can see, it has a Pandem wide body kit that there's no going back. All the fenders are cut and chopped. We used real titanium hardware and the kit was painted with BASF RM paint. So it came out beautiful. Color matched to the actual factory ceramic metallic paint. So a lot of people didn't know where the color came from or if it was custom, but this is an actual color that you could get from uh, 2016. MX-5. Chose my favorite rims, the TE-37Vs. And the hardware that we use is uh, provided by Thunderbolt Japan. So it's real titanium uh, lug nuts. And we op opted for the raised center caps as well. We went with KW Club Sport two ways. So this is a full coilover system and it's good for the track and we're looking forward to like testing it out on some of the courses here, maybe the Sebring short course, or we have another track called the Firm. So we'd like to get the car ready for that and take it out there. Looking at the interior, for safety, we have the hard dog roll bar that's been powder coated by my buddy at Extreme Powder Coaters. Um, the Bride, or as they say, Brid, Zeta 3s, and this is in the Type L because I'm a little bit bigger. Um, I would actually prefer the Type XL, but they don't fit. So this is the uh, pretty much the largest size you can go um, to actually fit while being able to close the door. For the steering wheel, we went with a collaboration from Tune Japan and Vertex. This is actually um, serial number 10. We went with the Pandem GT wing. So this wing is made just for the uh, MX-5 ND. Had a lot of people asking about what wing this is. Will it fit like the older Miatas? It might fit it, but the hardware and all the mounts are specifically made for the ND. You can see it curves right there. And, you just have to make something custom to fit on your car if you wanted to, to rock the wing. Pan and rear lip. And then our friends at Remark made us a, this is actually a race spec exhaust. At SEMA we ran the, uh, their full exhaust. It was um, nice and quiet, no drone, but sounded really good when you punched, punched it. We wanted something more open, you know, when we're gonna do our track days. So this thing is extra, extra loud. The car is also equipped with a spec clutch and Takata racing harness. This is their Drift 3 version, so it's much easier to like get in and out. Last but not least is what's under the hood. And this is what really makes this MX-5 special and different than the one you would buy at the dealership, is that it's turbocharged. So it's running a Borg Warner EFR turbo, and the kit is a turbo source turbo kit. We did the custom piping because we didn't want to use the stock intake. So the piping is provided by Vibrant. So we added a Cusco strut bar and to top off the turbo kit, it comes with this really large intercooler that doesn't require any real modifications. There's no cutting and fills the entire area. So you get max cooling. Thanks for checking out my little MX-5 that made it to SEMA and all the way back to Florida. Next time we're gonna look at Ivan's 2014 GTR that's gonna go to SEMA this year. You can have it um, next to each other. Yeah, there you go. But it's, yeah. Like in the <laughs> shot, you mean? <laughs> Alright, looking in the camera? Yep. Cool. Well, I can't see your eyes anyway because you got you've got glasses, so <laughs>